are in this class. In our last class, what did we learn? Yes, we learned a new chapter, right? Yes, what is the title? Louder, what is the title? Yes, very good. Too big, then too small. Too big, too small. Too, T-O-O, -O, too, then big. Say the spelling for big. Yes, B. Yes, I. G, big. Then two. S, T, O, O, two. Small spelling. Yes, yes. M, A, L, L. Small. Too big. Too small. Too big. Too small. Shall we play a mini game before starting the lesson? Are you ready? Okay. If I say big, you have to show like this. Okay? You have to show like this. If I say small, you have to show like this. Big, small. Are you ready? Okay, let's play. Big, small, big, small. Small, 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 big, big, small, big, big, small, 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 big, small, big, big, small, small, big, small, big, big, small. Okay, my dear children, you played well. Okay. In our last class, we learned a new chapter, right? Yes, the title is Too Big, Too Small. Now, I am going to ask some questions. You have to answer. Are you ready? Okay, okay, tell me who is the main character? Yes, we learned about one girl, right? What's her name? Yes, Shanu. Say the spelling for Shanu. Yes. Then, H. H. Y. Then, yes, Yen. U. Shanu. Then, what did Shanu tell her mother to do? What did? Shanu tell her mother to do. Yes. She said to lift her up. Right? Yes. She said to lift her up. Lift her up. Then, where did her father tell not to go alone? Where did her father tell not to go alone? Yes, very good. School. Say the spelling for school. You know. Yes, yes. C H O O L. School. Then, who said she was big? Some of her family members said, You are big. And some of her family members said you are small. I am asking who said she was big. Yes, very good. Ammi and Dadu. Mother and Grandfather. Very good. Ammi and Dadu. A-M-M-I. Ammi. Then Dadu. D-A-D-U. Dadu. Ammi and Dadu. Okay, last question. Where did Shanu carry her little brother? Yes, very good. Park. She carried her little brother to go to the park. But her grandma says, Don't do that because you are too small, right? Yes, park. P-A-R-K, park. P-A-R-K. 
R K Pa. Let's revise the previous class. Shanu is the main character in the story. Okay, Shanu is the main character in the story, and she has a mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, and one sibling. Okay, first Shanu says to her mother to lift her up. She says to her mother to lift her up, but her ami. Ami means mother. Okay. Ami says, "You are too big. You are too big. So I can't lift you up. I can't lift you up because you are too big." Then her father, Abu. Abu means father. Uh, she wants to go to school alone. She wants to go to school alone, but her father says. You can't go to school alone because you are too small. You are too small, so you can't go to school alone. Then third, she is trying to get inside the baby's coat. Okay, she is trying to get inside the baby's coat. At that time, her grandfather, Dadu. Dadu means grandfather. Grandfather says, "You can't sleep in the baby's cot because you are too big. So you can't sleep in the baby's cot because you are too big." Then, Dadi. Dadi, you know, grandma. Shanu carries her little brother to go to the park. At that time. Her grandmother, Dadi, says, "You can't carry your little brother to the park because you are too small." Some family members, Ami and Dadu, say, "You are too big to do that work." Abu and Dadi say, "You are too small for that work." Let's see the remaining part of the story. Okay, take page number thirty-three. First, I am going to say with all the new words in this page, so that it becomes easy for you to read the story. Okay. First one, puzzled. Puzzled. It means confused. Puzzled. Confused. All at once. All at once, which means. At the same time. At the same time. Now let's read the story. Shanu is puzzled. Too big, too small. How can she be too big and too small all at once? Too big to wear her old pink frock. Too small to make. Those are at the stop. Too big to climb up on Dadu's back. Too small to carry the baby on hers. Okay, my dear children, read along with me. Shanu is puzzled. Too big, too small. How can she be too big and? Too small, all at once. Too big to wear her old pink frock. Too small to make those up at the stop. Too big to climb up on Dadu's back. Too small to. Carry the baby on her. Look at this picture. Shanu is too big. Shanu is too small. Now she is confused. She is confused because some of her family members says you are too big. 
some of her family members says you are too small to do that work who said she was big yes very good ammi and dadu ammi and dadu who said she was small yes very good abbu and dadi abbu and dadi so she is confused how can she be too big and too small all at once how can be too big and small at the same time she is thinking how can be too small and too big at the same time okay see the next picture what shanu is having in her hand yes there is a frog in her hand right yes the color of the frog is yes pink colored frog she is having a pink color frog but that is old now that frog is old now see too big to wear her old pink frock she is having a old pink color frock now she can't wear it because she was too big okay she can't wear it because she was too big too small to make dosa at the store when she is thinking to make dosa when she is thinking to make dosa somebody says you can't because you are too small to make dosa on her own look at this picture shanu is sitting on dadu's back shanu is sitting on her dadu's back he can't stand because she is too big she he can't stand because she is too big see this picture her little baby brother is too big in this picture and shanu is too small in this picture let's see too big to climb up on dadu's back too small to carry the baby on her is big so she can't climb up on dadu's back okay she is big so she can't climb up on dadu's back she is too small so she can't carry the baby on herself she can't carry the baby on her when she carry the her little baby brother to the park her grandma says you are too small you can't carry the baby to the park right so here also she is too small to carry the baby on her turn page number 34 see the new words wonders wonders which means things to understand wonders things to understand enough sufficient enough sufficient let's read this page what am i the right size for shanu wonders amin smiles and says why you are just big enough to go to big school and you are just small enough for me to carry you on my shoulders says abu you are just big enough to take me for my morning walks says dadu read along with me what am i the right size for shanu wonders 
Ami smiles and says, Why you are just big enough to go to big school? And you are just small enough for me to carry you on my shoulders, says Abu. You are just big enough to take me for my morning walks, says Dadu. Here see, what am I the right size for? Shanu wonders. Shanu is thinking, what is her right size? What is her right size? Which word would she be right to do? Which word would she be right to do? And what is her right size to do the work? When she is confused, her mother enters. Her mother enters. Let's see what her mother says to her. Ami smiles and says, Why you are just big enough to go to big school? Ami smiles at her and says, You are big enough to go to big school. You are becoming a girl to go to a big school. Whereas her dad says, Whereas her dad says, you turn to be a big girl. You turn to be a big girl. You are, but you are small enough that I can carry you on my shoulders. These are shoulders. Her father says you are small enough that I can carry you on my shoulders. Because you are small, so you can sit on my shoulder. Next, her dadu. Dadu denotes a very good grandfather. Her grandfather. He says, you are just big enough to take me for my morning walk, says dadu. Her grandfather says, you can take me to my morning walk. Because you are big enough. You are big enough to take me for my morning walk. When she is confused, her mommy says, you are big enough to go to a big school. Her father says, you are small, so you can sit on my shoulders. Her dadu says, you can take me for my morning walks because you are big. Okay, my dear children, that's all for today. Your homework is read the page number 33 and 34. Okay, don't forget to read. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.